Hi, are you looking for a place to donate your furniture to? You'd like it to get picked up though for free? Well, that's what I'm gonna talk about today. Stick around. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley and I specialize in selling houses. And honestly, I think I get asked this almost once a week, at least twice a month. Clients that are getting ready to sell and they need to get rid of things, but they don't want to take the time maybe to sell it. They're just like, I'd rather just donate it somewhere. What's the easiest option, Annie? Well, today I'm going to give you three options that of places that will come pick it up for free. And then I'm going to give you four options of other places that you actually have to do a little of the legwork that it might be worth it to. Okay, let's start with the three easy ones. Number one, Habitat for Humanity. I love this organization. Most people think of them as building homes for people in need. They also do a lot of remodeling or maintenance updating kind of things for people in our community. And they also do a lot for our senior community. You know, I'm passionate about my seniors. And so people that want to age in place, but maybe need a little help around the house, they need some grab handles. Um, so in case they're unsteady, don't want to fall in the shower, or they want need ramps. Maybe they just need to update a few things in a kitchen just to make it more accessible for them. Habitat Humanity does that too. So I love donating to them. I really feel like they make a big impact in our community. The good news about them too, they will take more than just furniture. So I also have a lot of clients before they're gonna sell, we might fix up a kitchen or bathroom. A lot of times they have cabinets that are still in really good condition. They're just dated and it just doesn't work for them before we sell. We can donate that those cabinets to Habitat for Humanity. So I love that. So again, they'll take furniture, they'll take all their appliances, they'll take flooring if you're updating your flooring, but you can salvage the flooring from underneath. They'll take carpet, like I already said, cabinets, tools, they'll take all of that stuff. So they have a store downtown San Jose that, you know, people can actually go buy those items or they will use those in houses that they're updating for other people. Another little side tip, if you are looking to upgrade your appliances, but maybe you don't want to pay top of the line brand new, go to their store and you'd be shocked at some of the great like stainless steel appliances you can get there that are gently used and get them at a big discount. So that's a little tip. So number two, Salvation Army. Love Salvation Army. A lot of people know them, you know, ringing their little bell outside of stores around the holidays, but they will come and pick up items for free. So you have you know, furniture, clothes, any other household items, they'll pick it up. They have numerous locations where they sell those items. They generate income that way so that they can help people predominantly with substance abuse issues or addiction issues. They provide a lot of counseling support. So it's a great organization. Love them. They make it easy. And then number three, Goodwill. I think that's probably one that people know the most and think of all the little donation places, but they will also come and pick up items for free. Furniture, clothing, household items, that kind of thing. Check the websites just to make sure they will accept everything you want to donate because they kind of have been inundated with certain items or just certain items they don't take. I think like I said, Habitat for Humanity accepts more of like building material type of things where the other two don't. So double check with there, but when you sign up for a free pickup time, they usually sort of ask questions to make sure it's okay. So those are the three easy pickup places. Now, what about if you're willing to do a little bit more legwork and you really do wanna help and make a difference in the community? Here are four options. Number one, go on the website next door. I'm, I feel like most people know about Nextdoor. It's very localized in your community and they have a section to donate free items to people in the community and you'd be surprised some people struggling amongst us. So put up things for free there. And one thing I have had happen with clients is that they don't really have the resource to help move something for someone in their community and the person that is getting the donation doesn't either please feel free to reach out to me. I am happy to pay some high school kids that I use for things like this. They've got a pickup truck. They will help move the item. So I would rather do that and donate back my time, my a little bit of my finances to these high school kids. And it's kind of full circle. We're all helping each other. So don't let 
not knowing how to move something to someone in your neighborhood to stop you, I'm here to help. Number two, Sacred Heart Community Services. I love this organization. They have uh, a location down like it's like a first in Alma, something like that, kind of by the Sharks Practice Rink. Uh, they don't really take furniture, but they do clothing, uh, shoes. Shoes is a big one. They also do food. I love this place. It's super easy. You just kind of pull in. You don't have to get out of your car. They have volunteers that take everything out and they've got a store there. And they do so much for our local community. I personally have actually organized some shoe campaigns. So I will pick up anyone that's willing to donate old shoes, just leave them at your door and I pick them up. I can't remember, I think the most we donated once was like 2,000 pairs of shoes. This is fantastic. So I'll probably do another one of those at some point. Hopefully you'll be able to participate in. But love this organization. They really do a lot for our local community. Again, you do have to make the effort to go down there and drop it off, but I don't know, I think it's worth it sometimes. And number three, if you wanna help some domestic violence shelters, there are a lot of places here, they need clothes and they need bedding. That's a big one. I don't know that people realize how much bedding is in need. Uh, so I've gone to some, you know, different or domestic violence shelters and donated old bedding and they really appreciate it. So here's a link to a domestic violence organization. If you're willing to take the time to drop it off to them, they will be so appreciative. And my fourth and final one is dogs. You know, I'm a big dog person. Dog shelters and dog rescues are always in need of bedding or towels, sheets, blankets, those kind of things for rescue dogs. I typically go to the one, um, either the Humane Society on Monterey Road in San Jose, or there's one in Milpitas drop off old comforters and blankets, and they are always in need of that. So I've provided all the links to everything I've mentioned here below, so feel free to click away. Let's pay it forward, people. Help each other out in our community. I'm always here as a free resource. Lean on me for any of this, anything about real estate, I am here. Uh, so again, I'm Annie Baker, realtor here in Silicon Valley, and until next time, have a great one.